All right, sports fans, we're, uh, we got another one here. You'll notice I'm wearing a mask today. I'm, it's because I'm making a little homemade stink bait. Um, and it is, it is very, very stinky. It is some very stanky stink. Um, what I'm going to be making it out of here is going to be some chicken breast and some chicken gizzards that's going to be your heart your kidneys um uh the livers all that stuff um i go ahead and i buy this so it has all that other stuff included and not just the livers this all has been sitting out for quite some time so it is rancid it is putrid it is bad so whenever i'm handling it i will be wearing the gloves just to make sure i don't get any of that on my hands and then afterwards, I will be going inside and jumping in the shower so that none of my clothes or anything smells like stink bait. If you know anything about stink bait, once you get it on your hands, your clothes, it stinks forever. It's so hard to get it, it's so hard to get the stink out. Um, some other things I'm going to be using, I've got some olive oil right here. I've got some garlic powder right here. And I got some cherry Kool-Aid right here. Now the reason why you use cherry Kool-Aid is because you're simulating the color of blood. Um, you can use cherry, you can use strawberry. I wouldn't use fruit punch. It, it's not as red as the strawberry or the cherry. Um, so um, yeah, that's the purpose for the, the red Kool-Aid powder. I'm also going to add a little bit of water to it. Um, just to make sure it's not it's going to be able to get into that chicken it's going to be able to get into that meat and really like make it look like a bloody piece of of delicious bait that these things want to um want to eat fish can recognize blood in the water they're not like sharks they can't smell it from 13 miles away or whatever but they still know when they see blood so what I'm doing right now is I'm adding olive oil. All right. Notice I used quite a bit. You know what? Why not, right? Everything's bigger in Texas. Go home. Go big or go home. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of that water in there. Right here. All right. Take my knife. Uh, it's not going to mix. Water and oil don't mix. I'm just trying to disperse the water throughout the oil a little bit more evenly. Now I'm going to put my gloves on and I'm going to pick up that meat. So I will be right back just kidding we are adding the kool-aid powder oh yeah look how red that gets all right boys gloves on gloves on get them gloves get that nasty rancid stinky meat this is chicken breast right here that i've caught i've cut it up into cubes you can do small pieces medium pieces all the way up to large pieces i do have some larger pieces in here um then you got your gizzards right here now we're going to take all this and drop it into there you can see my concoction right here Looking really dark red. I'm gonna drop all this in here at the same time. Now, take your knife, fork, whatever. Kind of work that around in there. Just like that. My bad, y'all. Oh baby, look at that. Looks like something straight out of a zombie movie, dude.
Oh yeah. So what I'm gonna do is after I get done making this, I'm actually gonna let it sit for probably one two days before I try to use it. So it's gonna get more spoiled. And all of that, all that red is gonna soak into that meat real good. I'm gonna take my garlic powder. Put that garlic powder in there. Now I'm using a lot of ingredients guys, but that's because I'm making a lot of bait. Also, as it sits over the next few days, that garlic is gonna get into that meat real good. So actually, after this thing sits up for a while, you'll come back and there'll be less, a little bit less fluid in it. And your chicken be a little bit bigger too. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Thick, thick. With two C's. Now, I know you probably ask yourself, hey man, just, just go buy some bait. <laughs> man what do you want to go and buy bait for when you got bait all around you Americans throw away so many tons millions of tons of meat every year from waste it's just wasted guys that's bait you turn your old meat turn it into new meat that's how it happens that's the game And the meat you're getting from the wild is always going to be more organic, healthier. Taking meat out of its natural ecosystem where it's eating its natural diet, that meat is always going to be more beneficial to your body. And man, the fight of catching a fish. Woo. But my brother and I, we used to go buy bait. We used to go buy goldfish. We used to go uh, cast net for shad. Uh, we even took finger mullet one time. Saltwater bait in the fresh water. We actually caught fish on it, believe it or not. But here lately, it seems like everything just stopped biting. And also, we had an ongoing, never-ending battle with turtles. Turtles will eat your bait. They love bait, especially live bait. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, this is done, this is all done right here. You see, I'll get the, I'll get the camera, and I'll show you guys what we're working with here. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Oh, like I said, guys, it looks like something out of a zombie movie. All right. So now that's gonna sit in here for the next couple days. <clears throat> that's that's another reason why you wanna put that garlic in there. As soon as I introduced that garlic into it, it became a lot more breathable, a lot more breathable. I could smell that spoiled meat coming through the mask. 
it was uh it's pretty putrid but you know what they say the stinkier the better so i'm gonna let this sit for the next couple days and uh coming up here pretty quick there's gonna be uh, another fishing video where we're gonna be using the bait that i've made today and hopefully the boat that you guys can see my brother working on so yeah stay tuned the adventures are gonna they're gonna come rolling in fast so you don't want to miss a thing peace out